lock it more fully all the way through. And as that happens, go ahead, try and lift one of those fingers, even two of those fingers, find your palm sticks even more as you try and lift your fingers, your palm sticks even more. You try and lift one of those fingers. What's more stuck now? The fingers are tight. The palm stuck as well. Okay, here's the interesting thing. What I want you to do is try and lift that hand, find it just sticks more fully, locks more fully, it sticks more fully to the, to the table. The harder you try and lift it more, it just sticks and locks. Really try, really try, if you're a strong guy, you can really try and lift that, really try and lift that, find it sticks more. What's that like, as that sticks now? Yes, <laughs> strange. Strange, strange. If you notice that strange, continue now. Are you in a, are you in a trance or anything? Or you, no, you're, you're completely awake, and they're stuck fully, the harder you try. Hi, welcome to How to Hypnotize Without Trance. My name is James Tripp, I'm a hypnotist and I'm a neurolinguist, but more specifically today I am your guide through this program. The program is called How to Hypnotize Without Trance. The aim of it is to get you started with hypnosis, to get you into hypnosis, get you understanding it and get you doing it. More specifically the hypnosis without trance approach and you'll, you'll find out more about what that means and how that works as you go through. Now what you will have just seen at the beginning of this video is an example of hypnosis without trance. It's me out in a pub doing some, um, some impromptu hypnosis. I used to do a lot of this, a lot of street hypnosis. And I'm doing a hand stick phenomena with somebody. I'm taking the person I'm working with into an experience of having their hand stuck to the table. And for that person it's a very vivid, very profound experience. Um, this was classically called a hypnotic phenomenon, where somebody's reality is altered to the point where something really, really strange is happening. And you can do that kind of thing with hypnosis, specifically with overt formal hypnosis, and that's what you're seeing happening there. And that is really what this course is about, overt formal hypnosis. And there's another side to hypnosis, which is conversational hypnosis, covert stuff, hypnosis that happens outside of awareness. The difference is when you're doing overt formal hypnosis, it's labeled as such, or it's labeled as something happening here. Covert conversational hypnosis, as the name suggests, happens just within the everyday frame of conversation. The different types of hypnosis have their different strengths and different weaknesses. I will say this right now, although this is specifically really relating to uh, formal hypnosis, overt hypnosis. If conversational hypnosis and covert hypnosis is your interest, watch all of the material, learn all of the material on, on this program, in this program, very, very thoroughly. Because what it will give you is a, is a deep insight into how hypnosis works, a deep insight into how to use language and communication to direct attention and seed ideas for the purpose of altering another person's reality. And that's my definition of hypnosis. Let me repeat that again. The use of language and communication to direct attention and seed ideas for the purpose of altering a person's perception of reality. Now whether hypnosis is overt and formal or covert and conversational, that's always what you're aiming to do. With the overt formal stuff, it might be some far out stuff, that change in reality could be some far out stuff, like a hand stick, or a name amnesia, uh, or a change in sensation, and anesthesia, or a hallucination, or something like that. You can get that kind of stuff happening with the kind of overt hypnosis that I'm teaching here in this program, and you will see, I will be teaching you how to do some of that stuff. With covert conversational hypnosis, the things that you can get happening are less dramatic in many ways. You can get shifts in state, you can seed ideas in people's minds, you can influence the decisions they make, but you won't take them to a really trippy kind of far out place like you do with overt formal hypnosis. However, the principles are still the same. The principles, the way you use language, the way you use communication, the understandings that underpin the skills are all the same, whether it's overt and formal or covert and conversational. One thing I want to say about this program before you begin is the material that you're going to be seeing as part of this program has been filmed at different times, different places over a number of years. Some of it's filmed on very shaky cameras, some of it has um, background noise going on and this kind of thing. So. 
Bear in mind, as you watch this, you're leaping through time and you're leaping through space. You're seeing different stuff in different spaces, different places in time. Um, and you will see me over time as well. So some of this stuff uh, is from a long time back and some of it's more recent. Now, if you're watching this video as part of the program because you visited Hypnosis Without Trance and you've already signed up to the free tutorials and resources area and you're studying this as one of the programs, one of the many programs that's in there, then you will have the opportunity to read the report Hypnosis Beyond the Trance Myth. I highly recommend that you read that report uh, as, as an accompaniment to studying this program. And obviously, there are all the other resources here that you can check out as well. So. With that frame set, I hope you're ready to learn some really, really cool stuff. What we are going to dive straight into is learning to do that hand stick that you saw at the beginning. The next video that you watch in this series will be about doing that, and it will expand on what you've seen already. And then the video following that will go really into great detail as to actually what is happening. That said, I think we're ready to go. We're ready to start. Let's have a look at sticking somebody's hand to a table. <laughs> 